Hai Sudi. Follow me. Halo Sudi. Ya ya. Hai udah naik ke sana. Oke deh. Slide, slide. <laughs> just to go, uh, just to go through the slide. Have you seen the slide? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's the weekend. Weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will talk to you, okay? <laughs> I will talk to you. Wait, okay. okay, wait. After the class, I will talk to you. Can you see my desk? Yes. Okay, so the final step of the investigation. What was that? What is meaning of hierarchy? Any idea? Like <laughs> so the flow has parent and chain. It's good, but the relation is correct. Same thing here also. So it is an order series of set of related dimensions coming together and forming this hierarchy. Example, if I want to say time hierarchy, can anybody guess what are the related objects for the time? Yeah, yeah, very good. Year, quarter, month, week, and day. These are all group of related objects to the time. Coming together, must come to have the relation one is to many. One is to many. One is to many. One is to many. They must come to have the relation from one object to another object. They should have one is to many relationship. Then only we can say it is hierarchy. It is an order series of set of related dimensions and having the one to many relationship from higher level to lower level. Then only we can say those are in hierarchy. One more example, anybody? Geography, continent, country, state. City, town, see the relation, one to many, see the relation, one to many, see the relation, one to many, then only we can say geography is in hierarchy. One more example, company, division, department, so this is also in hierarchy. What is the purpose? Why we have to set this hierarchy? In the report creation level, if I want to do the multi-dimensional analysis, multi-dimensional analysis, what is this multi-dimensional analysis? MDA, different levels of Different perspectives of detail. Example, I have a year, country wise, I have the revenue. I want to see the lower levels of the year, quarter, month, week, and day. Not only for the year, I want to see for the country also. State, city. 
now you can per perform the analysis from year to country year to city state city town not only for the year quarter wise quarter wise country quarter wise state quarter wise city city town not only for the quarter for the month also week also day also that type of the analysis we can do that is the mda different levels of different perspectives of detail that is mda different levels of different dimensions of the details we can perform so if you want to perform this analysis those master should have the hierarchy then only we will get the correct levels and the correct data otherwise we can't get the correct data so to perform this mda in the universe designing level we need to maintain this hierarchy concept that is the reason we are maintaining the purpose is in the report creation level if you want to perform mda so how we will do the mda in the report there is a icon in the report there is a drill option if you want to perform this drill option in the report you must and should have the hierarchy concept in the universe designing level so how can i maintain this hierarchy concept in the universe designing we can create two types of hierarchy two types of hierarchy first one is it is default default hierarchy second one is customization customized hierarchy if the default hierarchy is not meeting my requirement then i can customize it okay default hierarchy is nothing but the order of the object which are arranged under the class the order of the object which are arranged under the class nothing but default hierarchy and the customization we can change the order as per our requirement that is customization okay how can we do that one hello one create a new universe go to file menu create new one provide the universe name as hierarchy please give the connection e fashion not that e fashion this is defaultly yeah yeah e fashion yes click on okay then the first step is completed saved second step add the required table please add the calendar table insert calendar table third step third step class okay that is the second step save the inverse do we need the third step and fourth step no why because no, only single no. yeah no table only single table yes. automatic creation of the class and the object drag and drop to left hand side start the table then drag and drop to left hand side then automatic creation of class and the object okay that is the fifth step then see the order do we have the hierarchy this year is somewhere quarter is somewhere and month is somewhere but yeah but default hierarchy is nothing but is the day only default hierarchy is nothing but the order of the objects which are arranged under the class that is default hierarchy if i am using this hierarchy in the report level i will not get the correct data because here they are those are not in the hierarchy year is somewhere quarter is somewhere and month is somewhere default hierarchy is not meeting my requirement then how i can customize please go to the tools menu uh fresh i did not get the my is not i i see all of these are in order and all of these are in order i don't understand like uh, uh, how these are not in the same order i think 
what I told you. If I want to say, if I want to say, they should have higher to lower. What relation they have to be? One to many. One to many. One to many. Like that, we have to maintain the level from higher to lower. Okay. Like that, yes, it should be present like that, but those are not in hierarchy. That is the reason we are going to customize it. Go to the tools menu, customize that. What is that? Hierarchy. Please click on the hierarchy option. So, left hand side is the, your default hierarchy. The order of the objects which are arranged under the class. It is not meets my requirement, then I can customization. How I can customize? Use the move up button. Remaining levels, let us suppose we don't want to do the analysis. We can remove. I can place one in three. Just click on OK. Is it displaying anything in the customize, customize hierarchy here? That will not appear here, the customize hierarchy. Where it will be appear the customize hierarchy? I told you while report creation level, while report creation level, let me take your universe, what are you created? Universe name is what? Hierarchy. I am just taking the year, run the report. So, here if I want to perform the MDA, multi dimension analysis. In the analysis tab, I have an icon, bill icon. If I am click on this, now I can go to the further level. Right click there, see that option, drill through. What you are able to see? You are able to see default hierarchy or custom hierarchy? You want? Yeah, custom hierarchy appear there. So your custom hierarchy will be appear while performing the drilling operation. Then I can select that. I can go to the further level. Now it's the quarter. Again, drill through one more level. Now it's month. I want to perform up one level, quarter, one level, year. We can't have all the three. <laughs> that is building. We can't place there. Let's see. Build down. Now you can see. That will be appear as a tab. Can you see that uh, today? Yeah. We'll discuss the option while discussing the report level, okay? So, but this is the way. If you want to perform that option in the report, then we shall we have to maintain the hierarchy concept here. So, how the levels are coming in the report level by using your hierarchy. So, that is the need of hierarchy. If I want to perform the drilling operation in the report, if I want to see the different, different levels for different, different dimensions, we have to maintain this hierarchy concept in universe designing level. That is the need of the hierarchy step in the universe creation. Those are the important steps in the universe creation. So, till you now, we have taken different, different databases. Am I right? If I end user has the SAP environment, then end user is the SAP BW system. If the end user is SAP warehouse system, the end user is the SAP warehouse system, then what I, have to, what I have to do? How to create a report? First, I have to create a universe. So, how to create a universe if it is the SAP? First, I need a small software. SAP integration kit. I have to install this tool. This is a small tool I have to install in my BO system. First, I have to install this, then only I can connect to the SAP Vero system. Okay. Here, I suppose it's already installed. But if you want to come to the SAP Vero system, first I need authentication. Let me check the authentication. Credential. B 
GI server details here. This is the business intelligence, SAP business intelligence. Previously business warehouse system, now it is changed as the name business intelligence in SAP. Business warehouse concept is changed as the business intelligence. Okay, that is the IP address. This is the number, dev, ratio, the username, password. Okay. I am going to connect into the SAP business warehouse system. So, first I have to install this software. Then I have to create a universe. I have to create an universe. If I connect it to the Oracle, what I am going to connect in? Tables. Okay? If I am going to connect into the business warehouse system, that SAP warehouse system, they have the cube concept. They will maintain the cube there. Okay? SAP warehouse system will contain cube. Exactly. They have the info cube. Now I am going to connect into the cube. If I am going to connect into the cube, can, we can see that. How to create a connection? Same way, create a new universe. Okay, create a new one. Go to the file menu. Create new one. Provide the universe name as SAP client. Then create a new connection. New connection is required. Click on next. Provide the connection name as SAP client. One, two, three. Then this time you have to use the driver SAP driver. Use the SAP drive. Expand the SAP business warehouse system. SAP client. Next. What I need? Authentication. Username is Suresh. Password also Suresh. And a client, one second. I will open the authentication file. Client is 001, I suppose. Okay, carry on. Give the client as 001. Language is English. Carry on. Uh, not that much. Only Indian is enough. Okay, then application server 202 dot. 202 dot. 65 dot. 155 dot 159 system number is 03 system ID is BEV development environment okay next so authentication is required next now it is going to connect into the SAP business level system wow Username is correct, is correct. Come back. Let me provide. U R E S H. Yes, U R E S H. What happened? It's showing wrong. G A R E S H. G A R E S H. I suppose it's going to be correct. Yes. See that whenever I connect it to the SAP business warehouse system, the available cube which are designed by the SAP business warehouse people will be appear here. These are all the info cube developed by the SAP business warehouse people. They will maintain the cube concept. But still, there is no cube. Let me take another one. Okay. Some cubes are designed by them. Okay. Then click on next. Finish. Test your connection. Okay. It's responding. Click on OK. Click on OK. Once you click on OK, everything is going to create automatically. We are not going to create any joints, any saturations. Nothing is there. Everything is going to create automatically. The info cube level, they have the characteristics and key figures concept in the SAP business warehouse system. Their characteristics and key figures 
here we are going to convert that class and objects automatically. It will take time because it has to activate the SAP system and it has to connect and it will take the class and objects manually. It will take some time. Yes. See that automatically. Uh, you can you can say you can say take one is a table. It's a it's, we are calling as a table. There we are in the Windows Server system. We are calling as queue. See that uh, Sruti, Everything is created automatically left hand side. Have you created anything? Nothing. Everything is created automatically. We have to install. Then only it will be connect. The Emos is ready because class and logic are created. Yes, you know designing is completed. So very simple when you connect into the SAP, that small software is needed. SAP integration kit. If you install the software, if you have the authentication to the SAP business bureau system, we can connect and we can create a universe from the SAP also. So that is the universe creation from is there no other difference between Nothing is different. Olap also similar to your cube only. Only identical processing system. Your warehouse system also is nothing but Olap only. Identical processing system. OLTP for the transaction purpose. OLAP. The warehouse means Olap. Only identical processing system. So, universe creation is completed from non SAP sources and SAP sources. And only one pending. What is that? Report creation. So report creation. We have three flavors. I told you. Web, web intelligent reporting solution. Nobody using the desktop intelligence in the real time. That is just I shown for testing purpose. Nobody using the desktop intelligence. Everybody using the web, web intelligence reporting solution. Crystal, crystal reporting solution, and finally, dashboard design tool. These are the main three flavors. Each and every tool they have their own advantages. Webby is very user friendly. Crystal. It is not user friendly, but it has there some advantages. Dashboard is very user friendly, very easy to the high level people. Whenever they are going to take their high level management meeting, they can just take, take a simply dashboard, they can visualize and they can represent the data. That is the purpose of the dashboard, mainly for the high level management people. I will show each and every module. I will show you the dashboard, how the window looks like of a dashboard. Previously, it is Excel clear. When it comes to SAP latest version, it is dashboard design tool. Previously, it has their own vendor, Excel clear vendor. They have their own development. But now, it is also a part of the SAP business software. We are calling as now the name has changed as a dashboard design tool. The visualization of your input data. Input data here I am going to take Excel sheet only. Just to see that example. One example I am just opening. So this is the input data you have, spreadsheet data. That is nothing but summary of the data is there. Spreadsheet data is there. While the high level people, they are going to connect in the meeting and they are going to analyze the data, they can use this. Then visualization completely. They can simply 
visualize your spreadsheet data, then they can analyze the, your organization system. So that is the beauty of the dashboard design tool and the crystal. I will, sh I will show an example. is the example of crystal, but the look and feel is not that much important. It is just mainly for the end user printing purpose they are using the crystal report. Compared to your web and dashboard, crystal has more functions. Printing operations and more functions are there where I can perform in the crystal report. Advantage is I can connect to the database system or any type of the source source system directly, no universe concept. I can create a special report from universe concept, but it's not needed. I can start the source system directly. Here the input is Excel sheet, spreadsheet data. But your web intelligence, universe. Let me show that universe. When I'm creating a Web report. So, how I can create a web report? I have two ways. If I want to create a, a web report, I have two ways. So, that is the reason first we are discussing the web. It's a very user friendly. I can create a web report using two ways. One way using a web browser, that is Java Info View. It's a web browser. We can create or share or modify in the online. That is one way. Same with client tool also there. Client tool is nothing but web rich client. So both are for both the ways are for creating the web document. We are calling as a document here. Web document. Java info view. No need of any installation. Using the web browser. Let me open that. Using the web browser. Okay. That will be early not appearing. Okay. Desktop level, I have placed the that Java Info View web browser. Double click on that, then automatically the web browser will be open. Authentication is required. So, the web browser it is mainly for the end user purpose, and rich client it is mainly for the developer purpose. But as a developer, I can use the Info View. I can use the rich client. Both the ways are same. That is for online. This is for in your client mission. You can open the report. Okay. Authentication is required. Authentication is provided. Then this is the home page window. The home page window of info view. So from here, if I want to see the documents created by the developers, or if I want to create new report, there is a document list. Here you can click. Directly here also you can click. Click on that. Then automatically, it is going to open the, the navigation panel. Left hand side, we have the first icon, folders concept. Second icon for category concept, folders and category. So your reports are saving by using these two concepts. Saving, saving purpose or sharing purpose. We can use the folders or category. So within the folders again two types. 
my folder public folder same for the category personal folder personal category corporate category what is the purpose of my folder i have designed a web document that is not for everybody that is my own purpose then save into my folders i have designed my document that is for everybody then save into public folder this is for everybody it is your own own purpose so how to create new one if you want to see the existing three existing reports you can go to the particular folder and you can select the respective public folder then automatically all the available reports will be appear there but i want to create new document yeah shruti please click on new option desktop intelligence it is only offline tool okay but web intelligence it's a online tool where i can easily modify easily navigation easily sharing everything do in the online that is the beauty of web intelligence use the new option web intelligence document whenever i have selected the universe sorry web intelligence document what are all these very good all the universes will be appear so i am creating a new report if i choose the web intelligence document then automatically all the available universes will be appear that is the web report new creation so business objects designed to universes defaultly e fashion and island you can use any one of them for practicing purpose click on the e fashion then automatically the query panel will be open the query panel seems to be as your desk query panel but the look and feel is completely very user friendly here the same query panel if you open your desktop intelligence also go to the query panel same query panel but here the look and feel is very user friendly okay so that is the query panel whenever i have selected the respect to universe example select the required universe which you want to create a report and just take the e fashion the end user has given the requirement i want to see a report from e fashion that is the reason i have taken the e fashion and result object what he expecting here state sales revenue and the layout he has mentioned please display as a vertical so as per his requirement first i am taking the e fashion okay then the query panel of the universe will be open it is divided into three panel left hand side we are calling as data manager panel it contains two tabs data tab and properties tab let me open the query panel of query to the left hand side i have two tabs data tab and properties tab can you see the data tab first it is having the search box below the search box what the universe you have connected the respective universe name it is showing there data tab search box to find the respective object then class sorry first universe 
perspective in what name it is showing. Example, you fashion classes, object, and the conditional object. If you go to the your query panel, first it is displaying the universe name to you. Whatever the classes are available, all will be appear. Under the each class, we have the first it is displaying the object first. After displaying the objects, then it is displaying the your conditional objects. If you go to the desktop intelligence, same thing, class and objects are there, but the conditional objects we have a separate panel. When it comes to wedding, only one panel which is showing to, to the, together with the object and the conditional objects. Okay, so classes and objects are showing. That is the data tab and the properties tab. I want to change the query panel name. Default it is showing as the query panel name as query one. If you want to change, you can change. I want to change it as a fashion. And limits. I want to see only two rows. That is the limit you can set. So these limits should not exceed the universe limit. Actually, universe limit, if I give it as the universe limit as file parameter control step, it should not exceed the universe limit. Here you define as a 5000. See, let us suppose here if you are defining as a 5001, it will not exceed the 5001 rules. That should not exceed the universe level limit. That limit should be within the universe limit only, and execution time also we can limit the query properties. That is the left hand side data manager two tab. Then what about the right hand side? It is nothing but result objects and query filters. Right hand side we have the result objects panel. Simply database level select statement. What is the purpose of select statement in the database? Anybody, what is the purpose of first statement? The respective information, if you want to see in the database, I can write the select statement. Example, select year, state, Sales revenue from different different tables. The same select statement here concept in database. Here graphically we are calling as result object. What is the requirement here? I don't know where it is. You can type here. Then the respect to object will be highlighted there. Double click on that. Then automatically it went to the result objects panel. What I told you, result objects panel is nothing but click on the SQL, see the background SQL, automatically see that information. Is nothing but select statement. Okay? So that is the use of result object. Whatever you want to display as a report is nothing but result objects panel only. In the above example, and you are expecting year, state and sales revenue. If I want to represent this data, then I have to place the object to my result object panel only. Here is placed. I don't know where it is state. Type actually. Double hit. I don't know where the sales revenue. 